Hey gang, Dirty Rob from the West Michigan Trail Runners and the Gazelle Sports Dirty Herd here with my review of the Innovate Rocklight 305. That's right. Not a bad shoe, has way more going for it than it doesn't. Uh, if you've never heard of Innovate, European company, they've been at it forever. Uh, I personally own a couple of their, their heavy duty trail running shoes that I use as hiking shoes and I've had them forever and ever and ever. Um, the Rocklight is in a kind of a, what they, I guess, a trail running family of shoes. The 305 is their second one up. They do have one that's a 290. Uh, quick reference point for you with all of shoes, those numbers that are on the shoes are attributed to the grams of the shoe. So the smaller the number, the lighter the shoe, bigger the number, the heavier the shoe. So that being said, let's dive into the Rocklight 305 uh, and let's talk about what I loved and didn't love about the shoe. So starting the tongue, nice and padded, nice and tall. I loved all that. What I didn't love is this gusseted all the way up. Right to there. Yep, those are your gussets. So there's nothing here that's sliding or shifting, which you may or may not like. I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh, obviously then, no lace guidance system, because there's no lace or no tongue to move. Uh, so laces aren't going anywhere. They are nice and flat and wide, some of my favorite kinds there. So the fit and all for my foot was, was okay through the midfoot. I felt locked in. Uh, I didn't have any problems there. It might have been partly because of this lacing system you see here. You can kind of see they got uh, some of the nylon webbing uh, strapped over. We've seen that before from other companies in the past. It's hit or miss. I didn't have a problem with the fit. My low volume foot didn't have any buckling with any kind of material that caused any hot spots. So I would definitely try it on if you have a high volume foot to make sure that there's enough room for the shoe to stretch and move because there is a lot of material right here that this shoe is not going to stretch and flex too much for you. Uh, X system kind of back here in the heel, locking in and dialing in the fit. Uh, it seemed like a lot of stuff going on back there. It seemed like it caused a little extra weight to me, but it did lock in the fit. The heel counter is pretty substantial. A lot of protection back there, a lot of durability. Big mesh panel up here under the toe box. Breathable for your bunion, first metatarsal. A little bit kind of over here for the fifth. Not too much though. Uh, flexible toe rand, a little rubber call out on the end. All in all with the upper, I really felt like it was a lot of overlays. Like this part here, like I said, was really overdone. I guess would be the phrase I'd use. Uh, I felt like they could have shaved a little weight there. It seemed a little stiff to me. Midsole, power flow all the way through. Honestly, I was really surprised by the ride of the shoe. It felt nice. Uh, other Innovate shoes to me have always been a little stiffer and I've always seen them as a little more durable, a little more rugged shoe. This shoe had a little cushion to it, which I really liked. Uh, it felt great. And it was needed because there is really no flexibility to this shoe. This is a this is a stiff, stiff shoe right there. So having that extra cushion in there really helped. Six millimeter lugs on the bottom. Their meta shank is still in there, so that's their second generation uh, rock plate. So a lot of protection. Like I said, this shoe is going to be bomb proof and it's going to protect you from everything. So and again, the six millimeter lugs, you can kind of see them sticking out there. That is certainly going to make this a little bit terrain specific. Uh, the ride on road was not awesome. Ride on the treadmill is not awesome. This is really getting out in the dirt and in the woods. Uh, and that's where the shoe thrives. That's where it wants to be. Weight wise, 13.4 uh, ounces and my size 14. So it certainly falls kind of above that, that kind of 12 and a half, which is I, I use as my line in the sand. Anything over that is certainly going to be um, challenged to earn a spot in the trunk of my car. Eight millimeter drop, uh, roughly 21 here, 21, nine, 20 nine there, 21, 29. Uh, I think they use it like 20 and a half here and 28 and a half or something like that. But we'll call it 21, 29 uh, for an eight millimeter drop. So all in there, didn't feel like an eight millimeter drop for those of you who can feel drops. I know when I'm in a full 12 millimeter drop shoe, I'll sometimes catch my heels a little bit when I run uh, since I've spent so much time in four and zero drop shoes, but I'd never problem with this. It felt like a lower drop shoe. Uh, not a lot of ground feel though because of those lugs in that rock plate, but all in all, not bad. So end of the day though, not my favorite shoe from them. Uh, sadly, it did not earn a spot in the trunk of my car. Will not be seeing any significant mileage for a couple of reasons. One, the weight, uh, you know, when it comes to weight of a shoe, I've tried on 14 uh, ounce shoes that felt lighter than this shoe. If a shoe's well balanced, you're not gonna notice the weight. And this shoe didn't really feel super well balanced. I felt like I could feel the sole of the shoe a little more than maybe I should have. Uh, and then the upper was a little on the stiff side. Uh, and then of course the toe box. I'm super nerdy about toe boxes and it's just, it's not super pointy But it's just narrow enough up here that I felt a small squeeze. So uh, it was good for a ride I'm glad I, glad I 
tested it out, and I think Innovate's on the right track. I think a lot of people are going to love this shoe because their past shoes were even a little pointier in some of them. So all in all, a good step, and I highly recommend you try it on if you've had other Innovate shoes and you've liked them. Because I think this might be probably one of the most cushioned ones you've tried or will try. Um, and like I said, it's going good, good, good to be a good investment because it's going to last you a really long time. I would certainly put this in the category of like a Solomon Speed Cross type shoe where you're going to have it for a couple seasons and it's going to get you through those. So. So that's it, gang. The Rocklight 305 on shelves now. Check it out. Try it on. Please do. Uh, I think it's certainly worth it just for the investment sake and the fact that you're going to use this for a lot of things. Hiking, uh, trail work, trail running, uh, and all of the above. So that's it. Once again, I appreciate your time. Comments in the section below. I'll see you on the trails. Peace out.